Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Resonance of Fate on the Sony PlayStation 3. Last time, we made our way through the abandoned town of Usia and got uh, ambushed by little weird crab thingies that were hiding out of barrels, as well as a giant molten tar creature that kicked my ass a few times, and then I got lucky and beat it. I'm not sure how I beat it, but the point of the matter is I came out surviving, so that's good. By the way, yeah, this is why I, this is why I wanted to, uh, what is it, not go back off screen just in case there were more enemies I had to deal with, because I wasn't sure if we actually needed to or not. Okay, I'm not going to be able to get to you. So I'm going to have to try this again here. Can I actually target you from up here? Yeah, I can do some damage, not a whole lot, but some. And you're kind of weak right now for some reason. Okay, well, you're taken care of. Okay, you're still over here. Gotcha. Wasn't sure if you would be or not. I'm not really too terribly worried about these guys. They're only level 4 compared to level 17, so we'll just have to settle for the lower enemies here. Uh, you want to move there? Yeah, thanks. But yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure how I actually beat the guy. Like, just kind of randomly lucked out and managed to beat him, so. I mean, awesome, but. I can't do that for every boss fight in the game. And I was looking around just a little bit for, like, uh on game facts or whatever just like looking at like the achievements or whatever and it looks like there's a rough at just just to see what the like uh because it's based in because the, the game's based on like uh chapters or whatever i was seeing if it was, like the trophies would say how many chapters there were and it seemed like there's roughly 15 chapters so i'm not going to be able to luck through 15 chapters worth of bosses so i want to you know figure out what's going on there so cool me in there fellas would you let's see there's no leader is there Okay, let's just go ahead and start with uh, this guy because he has a gun. Yeah, what is that thing behind him? I'm not sure. Is that just like where my where my uh, running point is ending at, or what? I'm not sure. I think that's what it is. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, that makes sense. It's just where the end of my uh, hero turn is going to be. Okay, cool. Glad I figured it out by myself. Yeah, you're not dead yet. Ow. That kind of hurt there, fellas. Thanks. Ow. Enough with the tar stuff. If we wanted to, we could actually do a resident or try attack right there, but I'm not going to. Actually, you know what? If I go right over. Nah, that's, that's gonna not be great. I was going to say, technically it's still between, but you actually have to run between them. I was going to try to make a try attack that was closer, but eh, it's not going to work. You're just about dead, and I think we should actually be able to pull off a resonance attack right here, depending on if we're actually uh, triangulated here. Uh, yeah, let's let's try that. Oh, what the hell, you missed? Oh, he stabbed me in the middle of my try attack and it screwed me over. Okay, uh, I need to get to these right here. I have no idea what these extra quarter hexes are, so if anyone wants to cool me in, I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead get you out of the way just because you're small low on HP and I forgot that I was machine gunning it there not uh, hand gunning I do like how it gives you the option to restart with just 200 rubies right there so that's nice okay let's see uh, let's see let's go ahead and just start with these guys screw it just because they're little bastards get them out of the way I guess Not quite enough to kill, but close enough. So I want you to actually start on that guy. There you go. Just to have his splash damage or scratch damage or whatever. Getting started there. Over. 
Got him. Okay. And then you go ahead and finish this guy off. Now, I think we might be able to... Oh, we got a trophy. Not sure what that came from. I was okay, we might want to do a triangle attack, but I'm not sure if that would actually uh, work because they might just, uh, what is it, break me out of it again like they did last time. A trophy for defeating two or more enemies in a single attack. Okay, I'm not sure how that actually worked out, but okay, I'll take it. I wasn't paying that much attention, but cool. Alright, I see this will actually attack him, so let's go ahead and give it a shot. Oh, okay, that worked out pretty good. We're getting a lot of red energy axes, which is really nice. Let's see, we went ahead for the yellow, I do believe. Or purple, actually, I'm sorry, we're in the yellow. We went ahead towards the yellow. Yeah, I don't think this I don't think this actually helps out that much, map wise. Then again, the little hex thing doesn't really make that big of a difference either, but still. Actually, you go ahead with a grenade and go to town on these guys. Or I could, you know, just hit the, hit the cover. Yeah, we got a level up. Very nice, very nice. I'll take it. And 3,200 points to actually get our machine guns up again, which might not happen for a little while, but close enough. Alright, we got a smackdown. Perfect. Good, 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 good. Let's see you. Let's go ahead and continue what you started. And there we go. A little bit of damage there. I'll take it. And let's switch back to... Actually, let's keep the grenades for the barrel guy later. But for now, let's go back to our guns. Almost got the little bastard. See if I can't just kill this guy with the regular attack here. All right, good. You're taken care of, and now we got to worry about barrel hit. So let's go ahead and go for a regular grenade. I think, I think it'll still work just as good as the uh, Molotov cocktail. Eh, not quite as good, but whatever. And his shields are getting in the way. We got to watch out for that. Uh, let's get this guy out of the way, just because he might start trying to hit us with his gun, and that would be irritating. All right, good. You're almost done. Zephyr, you're taking a good chunk of damage there, sir. Uh, there isn't a weapon made that a real pro can that should... Ah, I thought I was going to kill him. And the frickin' barricade got in the way. Okay, so Molotov cocktails are definitely much more effective against uh, barrel head over here, so I'm going to keep that in mind. And I'm going to go ahead and actually... Use my last one here. And that should hit both of them, I think. Alright, good. You're taking care of. And now, for some reason, this barrel guy is giving me way too much problems right now. Let's see. Go back to our... Rifle and try to get here. Oh, 
Why are you giving me so many problems right now, there, dude? Oh, okay. I think I figured it out. I probably should have jumped over him to attack his uh, his barrel instead of you know try to just do a head-on attack from the sides there. Okay. I wasn't jumping, and I was costing me stupidity points here. Okay, let's see, we got oily, 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 and that's pretty much it. Right, you're done, easy enough. These guys are chumps. You finish off that guy, and then go for the other guy. There we go. We should fight these guys more often because they're easy. We got some more meat, and I think we're just about done. I think this is uh, our last one. Perfect. I guess we probably could have done that off screen, but I just wanted to make sure they weren't going to do other stuff. Uh, now, are we ever going to get to the other side there? I have no idea. Well, it looked like we should have been able to go out the other side, but it didn't let us. As far as I can tell, we're done with the mission though, right? Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and go uh, complete the mission, pretty much, and end the chapter, I guess. I guess we can do a little bit of shopping beforehand. This might be a short episode, because I don't want to... Ah, I forgot about that. Uh... Alright, let's go back in there, go back to the uh, save point, save up, and check out that uh, Forsaken area. Because I don't want to... I don't want to start a new chapter in the middle of an episode just in case like it has a long cutscene or something I'm not aware of. We should be all rested up though. Okay, let's save. And we'll check out the uh, abandoned factory type area or whatever that area was. Or we get another battle right here. That works too. At least we're getting lots of red energy access that. Probably see how many I actually have. And let's just go straight for the kill squad here. Alright good, we have just enough scratch damage to possibly finish them off with this or guns, and they'll be done. So that was an easy, easy fight. But I'm not really happy, like I said, I how I did it on that dang uh, tar guy boss fight, just because yeah, it didn't really work out very good like at all. You think they learned their lesson? Let's see. More interjections, no red ones, but I'll live. All right, let's see how many red energy actions we actually have, though. Fourteen. Wow, that's a fair amount. Ooh, we actually got a couple uh, kind of square placements there. Very nice. I like it. I like it. All right, let's go back to the entrance and see what the other area here is. It might just be some random little area. I'm not sure. Or it could take us like an episode or two. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Forsaken. Let's see. Oh, this is a uh, kind of a town area. Huh. Traveling sales and pouring, never the same place twice. Where we stop? Nobody knows. What do we got here? We got a whole bunch of nothing, it seems like. Okay, you suck. Actually, no, I could probably sell some stuff here. Let's see. Silver chips. Let's get those. meat 
And I think that's pretty much it. Many thanks. Ah, what else we got here? I thought this was going to be a dungeon, but yeah, I guess I was mistaken. So long. Entire towns where the people up and die instantaneously. Yeah, that is kind of that's kind of scary there, bro. That's it? That's the whole area here? There's nothing else in this little area? Like, at all? At all? No? Well, that was short. <laughs> okay. I was worried about nothing here. Well, I think we can go ahead and put these uh, purple energy hexes on the, uh, on the one off to the side over here, I think. Let me make sure how many I have, though, just to make sure. Because I don't want to use them all right away. we got three of them. And... No, those are more of a maroon. Now, for this purple, we can put it right here on that purple. Nope, stop it. Yeah, let's go ahead and use that. There we go. Get right next to it. I like these. These are easy to group stuff with. Apex, perfect. All right, and then we probably put this right. No, we probably need the darker purple, don't we? Yeah, we need the darker purple. These are more of like a pinkish purple, and that's not going to cut it. Yeah, we can't get over here, can we? Okay, let's go ahead and get out of here then. Actually, where does this elevator go again? Core lift versus... Yeah, we still can't get over there. Okay, this is the one we gotta take then, I guess. My friends, let none of us forget Relit Frida's final wish. She wanted a world free of suffering. And I swear to you, on her memory, it is a wish I will not let die. We are the ones who must make the change. We must banish that suffering from the world. No one knew this better than Pallet Frida. Together, we can make her wish a reality. We must each of us try. Someone certainly thinks a lot of our dear departed brother. You know I speak the truth. Okay, uh, let's see what's actually in this uh, power station over here, because I don't think we actually checked it out the last time we were there. And I don't think we can, because I don't think we have the uh, green. And stop pressing the select button. Oh, we actually can get to it. This aging generator powers the area with electricity, harnessed from the rotation of the basil's gears. I don't know if we're actually going to do anything in here, but we can check it out. And actually, I think we might have some uh, light purple stuff. Okay, this is a dungeon. This is a dungeon here. Uh, we got a couple straight curves. Okay, looks like this is what we're going to be doing then. I didn't realize this was actually going to be a dungeon here. And this looks like it has branching paths. So we're going to have to start uh, exploring here. Let's go ahead and see if I cannot get... Uh, Okay, let's uh, not get killed here. Yeah, let's see if we can survive. That'd be great. Okay, this should get these guys down to pretty much almost dead. And then we can just finish them off with our 
pistol pretty much. Okay, let's go this way. Alright, the dog's taken care of. Very nice. And right now I just gotta worry about this jump. Who we're gonna have to Ooh, smack down, okay. That works. Uh let's see how much our grenade actually why is that not working? It's all about having the right for the job. This might do good, this might not. Oh good, it blew, it blew off his uh... It blew off his armor, perfect. Okay, so you, let's go ahead and do this. So this is how dungeons are going to be set up, I kind of like it. You don't have to worry about random encounters, you just have to kill four or five enemies in each area, and then you'll have a couple... A couple more to look out for. Yeah, you'll kill a couple enemies in each area, and then you'll have to search for items, and then repeat and rinse. Okay, that actually works out pretty good, and I wasn't trying to use my grenade again. Dang it, I keep forgetting to switch back. And I gotta work. I gotta remember to jump on these guys, not... Not just uh, walk past them. Okay, we are in critical condition. That's not good. Okay, you're almost dead, though. Ah, son of a bitch. Okay, we need to get our. Oh, we're not in critical condition. I thought we were. There we go, that's why you do the damage right there. Jump it. There you go, I gotta remember that. Still gotta do a little better than that, though, unfortunately. Alright, there we go, got him. Last shards, and you want to try to blow up for extra screw over purposes here. Okay, let's see. I'm not seeing any other actual items here to worry about, though. Let's see. Now, is this going to be the way forward, or is this going to be something else? That's not going to be the way forward. Now, I wonder. I wonder if, like, you defeat a boss and you get like a little quarter bezel or something like that, and then. You get four, and it's basically like a piece of heart or something, and then you end up uh, getting another bezel. That's that's going to be my best guess here. Especially since I can't seem to find the exit to the next area. Never know what hit him. It's not letting me like zoom in on this thing. Okay, this looks like it's the way back to the world map right here. Yeah, that's the world map. Uh, where is the way forward? Oh, it looks like it's not actually connected. Why isn't it connected? Like, we should be able to go, like, right through here, but I'm not seeing a... I'm not seeing a line connecting this one to the next one. So why can I not go through there? Huh. That's odd. There. Let's see if there's like another entrance outside or something that we're missing here. Because that's the only thing I can think of that would really make too much sense. Yeah, there must be like a different part we could enter on in order to actually get further in. No, it's just the same one each each time. Huh. That's kind of screwy then if we can't, like do anything in the dungeon. Maybe there's a different uh, entrance to it from a different floor or something like that. Let's see. Yeah, it's not saying it's anywhere like any other 
entrances here. But yeah, I like, see. Maybe if we get to like the floor with that gear on it, maybe that's where we enter. But uh, till then, we don't really have much we can do over there. Huh? That's kind of irritating. Let's just go ahead and try to get this guy if we can. If not, let's just go ahead and get a nice little scratch damage here. Alright, plenty of damage there, and we can just finish them off with a gun. Perfect. Let's do it. Gotcha. And his hat falls off. Perfect. I love it. Dang it, I was hoping we'd be able to do a cool dungeon right there. Maybe the maybe the rest of it's not accessible until later. Let's see. We still can't really do anything over there because that's the yellow core. Let's see over there. We don't have the proper cores to get past there. We need a straight one. Um Let's go, let's go up to the core lift real fast and see if anything else is uh, doable over there. So like I said, I think there was a light purple something or other we could do up here, but I could be wrong. And if not, well, we'll call it an episode. The next episode, finish up the chapter and go to chapter 2. Yeah, see, there's the light purple right there, but this is dark purple right here. And even if it wasn't, we can't put anything there. See, there's blue right here. We don't have blue. Okay. Looks like we don't have anything else we can do then. Okay, so I'm going to call it an episode here. In between episodes, I'll go save up at... Actually, you know what? No, they're probably going to make us do something at the... Uh, at, uh, what is it? The main city, real fast. Well, actually, no, not necessarily, because, like it's like they say, you can choose in the chapter. Well, let's just go into town, see if there's a cutscene. If not, well, we'll call it a day. See, I want to go right about here, which gets me right next to my house, pretty much. Okay, yeah, so we're pretty much good to go then. Uh, before we get too far, I just want to make sure there's not going to be like some random extra quest. I don't think it is. I think pretty much the quests you get at the beginning of the chapter are what you have, but I just want to make sure. Yeah, like earlier I saw a little gremlin like right around here and then he dropped something and ran away. I don't know what, I don't know what causes that, but yeah. No? Okay. Hi. You have uh, you call me an angel again and I'm not really too happy, but uh no thanks. Alright, we can trade in some of these uh red 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 hexes for what is it, uh station ways, but I'm not really too worried about it. Okay, so nothing else to do then. Alright. So we're calling an episode here, and next episode we're going to go ahead and advance to chapter 2 and see what they got for us there. So guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.